fight. Look, there are countless moments that make up the story of Australia. But every now and then, there's a special moment, a defining moment. I'm Mikey Robbins, and I'm here at the National Museum of Australia to check out their project, Defining Moments in Australian History. Look, what we're going to do is we're going to go behind the scenes. We're going to check out some objects that tell the stories about these moments, about who we are. Gold, but not just any gold. This is the Bialaba Nugget. And it's one of our objects in the defining moments of Australian history. I've got Stephen Munro here as a curator. G'day, Mikey. G'day, mate. Why is this so indicative? Why is this a defining moment in Australian history? Well, what this gold nugget represents yeah. is the Victorian gold fields. Even though it wasn't found at the time of the uh, uh, Victorian gold rush, it was found in an area where people were discovering gold in the 1850s. So 1851, we have gold discovered in New South Wales mm -hmm. and Victoria. And this is what it was all about. This is what people were literally rushing all over the world to try to discover. Um, this was discovered in Bielaba, which is just west of Bendigo. And that uh, really is that part of Australia where the, where the gold rushes really took off. And the gold rush transformed this country? It absolutely transformed the country. So you can really look at that moment in 1851 where, the, where gold was discovered and Australia transformed from before 1851 and after 1851. Enormous wealth generated and it really is a defining moment for the nation. Because around about that time, you know, we actually had a tradition of, for want of a better phrase, celebrity nuggets. Yeah, yeah. well the Victorian gold fields especially was really a rich field for gold nuggets. We have the Welcome Nugget, which was found in 1858. So this is in the early stages of those gold rushes near Ballarat. It's a 69 kilogram uh, gold wow. nugget. I mean, that's just enormous compared to this yeah. even. Uh, Ten years later, the Welcome Stranger was found, and that made world headlines as well. I mean, that, that's still considered one of the biggest gold nuggets ever found. Apart from being an object that signifies one of our defining moments, th there's a great story about how this nugget was found. Arthur Stewart, he's a sheep farmer from the Bielaba region. And this is like in the 1950s? This is 1950. So it's about 100 years after the full gold rush and you know it's an area where gold had been found previously but he was riding along on his bike because his car had broken down. He was on his pushy? Yeah he's on his push bike riding along so he's had a bit of bad luck, the car's broken down, riding along and then his chain's broken as well so you yeah. know what sort of bad luck's the guy having. He's on the side of the road trying to fix his chain and then he sees something on the side of the road, what's that? It looks like a bit of a gold glint, goes over, digs it out with his hand He's got a 600 gram gold nugget that he pulls out. He walks down to a stream just near the road, washes it off. There it is, he's found gold, a 21 ounce gold nugget. And uh, so he's gone from having a run of bad luck to you know, literally having that good fortune. We've chosen the gold rush as a defining moment because, well, it did shape our nation, particularly when it comes to population. How, how much did the Australian population explode? Well, in Victoria, for example, I think they went from a, a population of 77,000 or so to half a million within 10, 10 years. It, it built the city of Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne and then cities like Ballarat and Bendigo, you know, grew. But we also had uh, immigration, obviously, from the British Isles, but China as well. Yeah. And where a lot of Chinese um, migrants came out during the gold rush. Uh, there was Americans who came out and other European countries, so it did really change the demography and the population of Australia. Well, that's my point. Is that you could say that the gold rush was the birth of multicultural Australia? Yeah, you, you could say that. There's no doubt that that did add a real influx of people from countries that probably would not have normally come here for that. What do you feel personally, you know, when you look at this amazing object? Well, I guess for me, this gold was created 350 million years ago. Yeah. Okay, so there was these, you know, in the, down deep in the earth, you had these uh, processes occurring where this gold was created. And then about 65 million years ago, there was erosion and so forth. So there was, and the, the rivers started carving through these granite sort of rocks where this gold was held and deposited it in streams and into creeks yeah. and so forth. And then there was, uh, dep you know, deposits of sand and soil over the top of that. And it's only then 65 million years later that people have come across this. And, and, and it's like the earth basically yeah. producing this wealth and then uh, humans... Uh, you know, rushing from everywhere. Thanks for watching, but it doesn't end here. We want you to join the conversation. Go to the National Museum of Australia's website, that's nma.gov.au, and let us know what you think are the defining moments in Australian history. We'd love to hear your opinion. Once again, thanks for watching. See you soon.